What's up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? Welcome back to role playing games. This is Mario Kart 98. And never like this, because about happy years, like the content, like the liberty, super appreciated. And no one's told you today, you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You're indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. <laughs> Today's guide, we're going to show you how to defeat this bad boy. This is a very, very fun game. And honestly, I do believe that the very first packing difficulty that shows up in this game, really, truthfully, is with this guy, with the Death Stalker. So. You do need to to get some very important materials for this guy. It also comes with one of the coolest looking armors in the entire game. But for you to be able to get this piece of armor, you need to farm this guy quite a lot, of, quite quite a lot. <laughs> so uh, that being said, it also gives an amazing weapon. But some of the parts are very difficult to get, and you're going to have to kill it several times for you to be able to get it. So let's start right into with the Karakuri that we want to be using against this guy. I'm going to be speaking in the video about this Karakuri for quite a bit of time, so just be sure, be aware of that. The very first Karakuri that we're going to be using, it's going to be this one right here. It's just going to be one, and that is because it's going to be turned into a combo for punishing attacks, and trust me, punishing attacks with that combo, it's going to be the amazing. And the next Karakuri that we're going to be using, it's uh, this one right here. That one, if you pair it up with two more one of this, it's going to make a hammer. That hammer is going to stun the Death Stalker. And it's also going to give you the chance for huge, huge punishing, punishing damage on the next moves that I am going to show you that I uh, about. So the combo, it depends entirely on your weapon, but the combo that you're going to be using, it's going to be this. So pay attention. It's going to be this, like this. So depends on the weapon, but that is basically what you're going to be doing. You're going to cast, cast a hammer and then one of these torches for you to inflict fire damage and continue with the combo. The next one that we're going to be using, it's going to be the the wall. I do not have enough Karakuri right now on me, just wait a little bit. So this is the one that we're going to be using. The wall, which is basically by placing as many cubes as possible. And you're going to be using this one on a very certain specific situation that I am going to show you in footage right now. So let's dive into the punishing moves that you're going to do against this um, kimono. So, every time that I speak about a counter, every time I speak about a attack of opportunity, you're always going to cast a giga hammer, <laughs> as I like to call it, as well as a torch to imbue your weapon, regardless of the weapon that I am using. You can swap the torch depending on the weapon that you're using, just leverage the damage as much as, much as you can, however you can and it's going to work. So, first, the first attack that I want to talk about is the Nova. The Nova is going to be recognized because the camera is going to be way a little bit from you. The ground is going to start to freeze up and he's going to howl and he's going to summon this kind of wave. You can dodge it, if you're nimble enough, but my advice, if you're struggling still, if you do not have learned the patterns right now, as of yet, just walk away and then come back and summon a Mega Hammer. The thing is that when he casts the Nova, he's not going to be stunned by the Mega Hammer. You can, by all means, leverage the damage, but you're not going to have that extra wind of potential. Uh, protection that the hammer is going to to give you in the rest of the attacks that I am going to speak about later on the video. But for now, what you want to do is that as soon as you see the Nova, you get away from the Nova and then come back as soon as you can to summon that hammer that is going to be free, extra damage. The second Nova, there's a different Nova. This is going to one-shot you. You can dodge it, Yes, it's very simple to dodge it if you manage to get accustomed to the window of it. And it's usually going to be followed by the first Nova. It's not always going to be the case, but more often than not, in some cases, as you can see right here, it is followed by the first Nova. The second Nova, what it's going to do is that it's going to jump into the air, 
and then slam the ground. It works the very same way as the previous one. You get away, and then you come back, you summon the hammer. The thing is that with this one, he will get stunned, so that will give you extra time to do some punish on this attack. The third attack that you're going to be able to punish, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to understand. And it could be confused with different attacks. So, without any kind of warning, he's just going to slam his paw on the ground and it's going to cast ice. Different than the ice that he casts on a wide range in front of him, this is just going to be small ice in front of him. And then, he's going to follow up. This is the tricky part. You can dodge this one. And as a matter of fact, you should dodge this one. After this attack, he's going to be open for a mega hammer and a punish, as you see me doing right here. Now, when he howls, sometimes this could be confused with the Nova, the Nova Howl is not going to stun you. If he howls and he stuns you, you dodge and then you summon a wall, always. This is going to cost for him to run against the wall. If you're lucky enough, like I was right here, I was able to be away from it. And he's, if he's also attacking your body while doing this attack, you can just grab the wall, he's going to crash to collide against it, and then you're going to be able to get free damage from him. So. Next punishes that are not attacks, but you should always be doing in the hunt. As soon as you start the hunt, like you saw in the beginning of the video, and like you saw, like are yours, like you're seeing right here, is that every time that you start the fight, you're always going to cast a mega hammer. It's very difficult for him to notice you or start the fight, so on and so forth. So you cast a mega hammer, you cast a torch, and you get free extra damage on that one. The second window for attacks that you're going to get is by using your Hunter's Arm. The Hunter's Arm is basically when you have weaknesses uh, on the enemy. You can climb them by using the right bumper or R1 PlayStation. Jump with, with your weapon sheath and then you jump, you grab onto that part and, pl and press left trigger or L2. That is going to cause the enemy to stagger and it's also going to give you the opportunity to use your mega hammer with your torch or, or with whatever means of dealing extra, extra damage that you would want to use. The next uh, window of opportunity that you're always going to have and this is going to be through always, always. This particular boss is going to move areas three times if you not deal enough damage. Every time that he moves to a new area, he's always, trust me, always going to use the first Nova. Just remember, you can craft the Mega Hammer on this one, but remember that not every single time that he moves on the first Nova is he going to be staggered. He's not going to be staggered uh, by the Hammer on this attack, so just cast it and then wait to see if he does the second Nova, you have extra opportunity for extra hammer. If he doesn't do the, se the second Nova, then just get away from it. And that being said, those are the leverages and attacks that you should be doing. Now let's talk about some of the attacks that you should be keeping your eye out for, that you want to be dodging. When he covers the mist, the, <laughs> the, the area with icy mist, you might believe that you get chance to do something here. You don't. Right? You don't. It doesn't give you enough time because he's always going to do a different attack. Always going to do a different attack. Right? So, when he's casting the mist, get away from the mist and wait for him to do one of the attacks that I mentioned before that you can punish. If he does one of those attacks, then by all means you can attack. If he doesn't, just get away from it. The second attack that you want to be on the lookout for is like the, men the one that I mentioned before. When he casts I ice in front of it, uh, in front of it, in a wide area, just dodge that one. You can dodge it by the sides or you can dodge it by the front, but uh, do not take the time to attack in here because he's always going to re react and he's always going to do something very fast. 
This is the final one, the final attack that you should be looking your eye for. He's going to summon a small wave similar to the Nova attack. And once he does that, he's going to plunge into you. You have to dodge this one. There's no <laughs> other way. Sometimes he will attack your body, but you have to dodge this one. Because if not, he's going to grab you, he's going to eat you, and he's going to chill you. He's going to frostbite you. So be aware for this one. And just as simple as that, 7 to 10 minutes is going to take you to finish this fight. Remember to carry a fire weapon at all times against this guy as well as a ice armor. But that is basically everything that you need to know uh, about this fight. No one saw you today, you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you're indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, really helps me like you have an idea and obviously you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.